Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have about 50 items to ship out. Today is Tuesday. So this is going to show a couple sales from Thursday night. I did ship Thursday. So I had a couple sales that night. And then my sales from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and yesterday, which was Monday. So we're shipping out today on Tuesday. Again, about 50 items. A lot of this stuff sold pretty quickly. I will try to fill you in on all the details with each item as we go. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with one item that sold in my men's closet. It is a novelty motorcycle print button down short sleeve shirt. I picked this up just kind of on a whim at my family thrift center outlet. I'd say about a year ago for $2. Um, I just really like the motorcycle print. I know that um, a lot of guys drive motorcycles. It was also a size extra large, 100% cotton, so nice and lightweight. And it was in pretty good condition. So uh, this, like I said, it sat for about a year, but then it ended up selling full price for $35, which was very exciting. Um, I knew that it would end up selling eventually just because novelty prints are pretty much a tried and true for me at this point. Uh, so my earnings were $28 and my net profit was $26 on this top. So I would totally pick this up again, even though it's sat. Um, the net profit was great. This was one of my very first items listed in my men's closet. I thought it was so cute. Okay, now everything from this point on will be women's. Next, we have this pair of Keds leopard print lace-up sneakers. Super cute. They're a size women's 11, which I was happy because I don't find size 11 or 10 or 11 too often in women's shoes. And I thought these were adorable with the leopard print. So I listed these at 30. They did have some surface dirt to them, which I obviously did disclose. Uh, mainly the shoelaces just need to be thrown in the wash. Uh, so I listed at 30. If they were totally clean and amazing condition, I would have listed closer to 35 or 40. Uh, I did get an offer for 25, which I accepted. That made my earnings 20 and my net profit $18. I knew these would sell quick just because they were so cute. A lot of people really like Keds. They are a very well-known brand, comfortable. These were also the Dream Foam technology, so like a really cushiony sole. Another pair of shoes to sell. These were super exciting. They are Teaks. They're like this neutral tan color. I think the official name was Biscotti. And even though the uh, big craze for Teak seems to have died down a little bit, these still sold for full price of $125. They did have just a very light amount of scuffing to the toe. Again, I did note that. I did get almost all of it out with nail polish remover. Acetone will remove scuffs from patent leather. Just try it in a small space on the back or somewhere not noticeable first, I would suggest. But yeah, still sold 125. That made my earnings $100. When I say my earnings, that's basically just uh, my cut after Poshmark takes their 20% platform fee out. So my earnings are always 80% of the sale price. So my net profit was $98. I do always add in a extra piece of paper when there's room on top with shoes, just so that they don't bounce around in transit and get uh, any damage at the toe or heel area. So as you can hear, they do not move within the box. Some of you guys have asked me why I don't like the shoe, the USPS shoe box. And that's because it's not self-sealing, so it takes longer to add the tape. And it also takes more supplies. And they all, it's also wider, so the shoes can, go, can bounce up and down as well as side to side. With that box, they really can only bounce side to side. Okay, so next we have a... Oh, 
I thought that was wind. It was a truck. Okay, so next you have a J. Crew little sweatshirt. This is super cute. It is new with tags, which is great. Retailed for $65. It is from the factory, J. Crew factory, but that's still a pretty expensive um, retail price, in my opinion. I just picked this up at my Family Thrift Center outlet for $2. I thought the kind of indigo polka dot was cute. Um, I listed this at $34 and my Flip FLYP bought. So I have recently switched my um, bot from Posture VA to Flip mainly because it's free, whereas Posture VA is $25 a month. Um, I just had a video released. It should be my last video before this one. All about flip, all about automation, talking about, you know, why I switched. And um, so, yeah, all my automation tools, sending out offers, sharing. It's totally free to me, whereas I used to pay $25 a month. If you guys want to sign up for the free tools, I will have a link down below. It will put you on a wait list. I think it's like seven to 10 days right now. So you want to sign up as soon as possible so you can get the free tools. I think it's really good, especially if you're just starting out to you know not have that extra $25 a month. That adds up over time. And in my opinion, automation, sending out offers, sharing, you'll see several items within this haul sold from uh, Flip sending out offers for me. So, I mean, it really is pretty huge for your business. Just because, you know, when you do this business, you you tend to be busy with other things like steaming, photographing, listing, and you don't have time to just sit at your computer, send out an offer every time a like comes in. And so, you know, you need someone to do that for you. And it's I think it's really awesome that Flip has offered free tools for that purpose. So. I listed this at $34. Flip sent out a $28 offer with discounted shipping. I have the exact same setting set up from Posture VA, 10% off with a discounted shipping 10 minutes after the buyer likes the listing. That offer was accepted, making my earnings $19.72 and my net profit $17.72. Okay, next up we have a pair of Athleta Girls, which is just their children line uh, for girls. Size large, 12, large slash 12, little shorts. Um, I just threw these in my cart at the bins because they were in excellent condition. They don't look like they've ever been worn. Athleta Girl as well as Iviva, which that is the children's uh, version of Lululemon brand. Uh, people search them out. They want to buy them for their kids. They retail for a lot. These shorts were probably $45 to $50. I listed them at 19, so you can really get a great deal on the secondhand market with this kind of stuff. Someone sent me an offer of 11, which I went ahead and accepted. I have had these for, let's say three months or so. So my net profit came out to $7, which I'm happy with. Honestly, if I can just throw some things into my cart here and there when I'm at the bins and have the net profit be around seven to $10, I mean, that's, you know, that's lunch for that day or whatever. I mean, that everything adds up and helps, you know, pay for my livelihood. This is my full-time job. Okay, next up, a three item bundle. Our first item is this pair of American Eagle distressed shorts. Shorts, these are definitely pants. And they are stretchy times four. 360 degree super stretch times four. So that sounds like a lot of stretch. These are the jegging. These are a pretty consistent seller for me. I would say around 20 to 25 ish. Next is this Victoria's Secret lingerie item. I don't exactly know what you call this full piece, but I do know that it does have a garter belt at the bottom. This is tricky because it has boning. I don't want to fold it. The bra doesn't have boning though, so I will fold it just below the boning and then fold it up. So yeah, I, I wasn't 
for sure on the technical name of this, but it looked very intricate. Lots of lace, lots of hook and eye closures. And so that just means that it was probably more expensive. And it looked brand new. I found a bunch of brand new lingerie at the bins right after Valentine's Day, like February 18th or something. Uh, so I think a lot of people bought some lingerie options uh, for Valentine's Day. Maybe they didn't work out or they picked something else to wear and then they just donated the other items. Last item in this bundle is this 100% silk leopard animal print button down blouse. The brand on this is just Allison Taylor. It's a vintage piece. This is probably from early 2000s, but I do like to pick these types of tops up, like vintage 100% silk animal print blouses because they are really well made. They're a classic print and I mean, this could easily be like Reformation or Cezanne. The quality is there. The print is there. It's just a very timeless piece. So I do really like finding these. And so for this bundle, when the three were added together, the bundle price came out to $76. And someone sent me an offer of 60, which I went ahead and accepted that. I have had this silk blouse for a couple months now, maybe three months. So I was ready to move it out. Also the American Eagle jeans. They, I've had those for at least a couple months. So yeah, sale price was 60. My earnings were 48. I paid about $5 for everything in the bundle. And so my net profit was $43. With those American Eagle jeans, you do want to add basically everything that the tags say into the listing as keywords because a lot of people know their specific American Eagle jean that they like and they just search for that. Like you want to put, you know, if it's set, if usually it's embroidered on the inner, on the inner jean, like high rise festival or 360 stretch jegging and you want to add all of that into the listing. Next we have a free people burnout kind of tunic pullover lounge sweater top with a high low two oversized pockets this is super cute this is a size extra small <laughs> which is always just kind of hilarious to me but i mean you know personally i wear my stuff super oversized so um, i'm a fan of this kind of silhouette i guess you'd say so I listed this top at 34. It probably retailed for about 68 or 78 would be my guess. Um, and it was in excellent condition. So listed at 34, someone liked it. And so again, Flip sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $19.72. And my net profit $17.72. This whole loungewear, athleisure stuff, it is definitely not going anywhere. The trend is so huge. Um, I'm way more likely to pick something up if it has that kind of casual style to it. Next, another bundle, our first item is this new with tags little pink by victoria's secret tote bag it's like a, a tie-dye color it zips on the top it's like a canvas with a like the straps feel like a seat belt almost um, and I just picked this up at the bins I thought it was super cute and with it being new with tags that was awesome Actually, you know what? I think I might. I'm just going to add this in as well. This is the second item. The brand is Angie, size 1X, striped, boho, kind of tiered maxi dress. Really cute for the spring and summertime. And anything that is extremely boho like this, I will add in 
a lot of keywords like prairie, cottage core, festival, any of the fun kind of keywords that go along with the bohemian lifestyle, I'd say. So for this bundle, I offered $53 that was accepted. So my earnings were $42.40. I paid $3 for both, and so my net profit was right around $40. Next, we have a vest. Again, very boho, super cute. This is long line, open front with a fringe trim. Very kind of earth tone. This brand, I see it quite a bit, but I don't usually pick it up. It's Say What, <laughs> that's the brand. I got this though because of the style and because it was a size 1X, which is great. And this was a full price sale, which we love. That always makes my day. It sold for $28. That's kind of my standard list price on items like these where they're pretty substantial, but they're still kind of low to mid tier boutique. Uh, I don't even know if this was that. This could have been sold at like TJ Maxx or something. Uh, but the quality was pretty good. So I'll usually land around 28 ish for a list price on items like these. Um, so yeah, my earnings were $22 and 40 cents. I'm trying to see if this would fit. I'm just going to go to the box. My earnings were $22 and 40 cents and my net profit was right around $20 on this vest. That's definitely what I aim for, a net profit of 20 um, on uh, just kind of bread and butter items. So I'm 100% happy with the sale. I hope the buyer loves it. It is super cute. This is a great layering piece for spring. You can just throw it on with the basic top and have a very fun put together outfit with minimal effort. Okay, next, yet another bundle. Our first item is this vintage Obermeyer ski wool blend sweater. I got this for obvious reasons. It has a really fun like 80s colorful patchwork animal print design. And it is a wool blend. I think it's 70% wool, which is great. Yes, that keeps you very warm. It was in amazing condition. And you know, this whole vintage, uh, quirky, unique stuff is usually my best, my best kind of sales. Fastest and um, for a good return, just because people know that once it's gone, it's generally gone. It's gonna be hard to find something exactly like it in the future. Maybe maybe not so much this piece, just because Obermeyer is a very well-known brand. A lot of people know to pick it up. So there, I wouldn't be surprised if there were several of these exact sweaters out there. Next is a J. Crew linen skirt. I think this is knee length. It has some cute little ties on the side. This came in my thread up 100 pound mystery bulk box. So I was happy to see it. I do love selling linen. And lastly, also for my thread up bulk box is this Fabletic set. Super cute one shoulder sports bra along with the high-waisted pants and they're both in like this fun neon green yellow color very vibrant so okay so the buyer bundled the three of these items and then sent me a message saying that she wanted me to send her an offer and so when when the three were bundled the price was $98 with 60 cents that does include my automatic bundle discount of 15% off three items or more. So that's already built into that. And then I offered her an additional, additional discount of $89 with discounted shipping. Mainly because I have had the Fabletic set and the green J. Crew skirt for a couple months now. I was um, eager to move those out. She did accept that 
And so my earnings were $68.52. I paid around $12 for everything. And so my net profit was $56.52 on this bundle. I need to add my thank you stickers. Always have to show my thanks. It's a very small gesture, the thank you stickers, but I don't know, I feel like it's still nice. It makes the package look a little more presentable. And I would love to personally write out a thank you card or note to every single buyer, but unfortunately that's just not sustainable with my business at this point. So um, I hope the message is conveyed well enough through my stickers. <laughs> my stickers speak for me. Next up, this is a really fun pickup. Cafe Marrakesh, which I hadn't heard of, but I like the long, longer link to this. It's like a tunic top slash dress. I would personally wear this with leggings just because it has like a black tie dye throughout it. So it'd be super easy to wear with black leggings. It has a little chest pocket, button tab, uh, sleeves. I picked this up at the bins, very lightweight, probably paid about a dollar for it. And this sold full price, which was super exciting. $28. That made my earnings $22.40 and my net profit right around $21.40. Okay, moving on, we have a Free People beaded mini dress. This is really pretty. It has sequins and beading in a floral print. I see one loose thread here. This is called the Azalea dress. And I believe it was missing both the brand and size tag, but I just measured it, figured it out. So pretty. I listed this at $45. And once again, flip. Someone liked it and Flip sent them a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $29.32 and my net profit $27.32. So anything from free people like this that has, you know, intricate beading or embroidery always sells a little bit better for me for sure. Okay, another pair of shoes. Oh, you know what? I actually had to uh, move these to the side. They had a flaw, so I need to message that buyer after I'm done filming. I'm just gonna have to cancel the sale. The strap was coming up from the side. I didn't notice it, so a little bit of a bummer. Next, we have Victoria's Secret bra. This was part of that lingerie that I was saying I found. This was new at Tags, retailed for $34 really pretty bra. I listed this at 28, just, you know, a little bit below retail. And once again, someone liked it. Flip sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. So my net profit on this bra was right around $17. I definitely paid probably less than a dollar for it at the bins. It's extremely lightweight. That's one of my favorite things to do at the Goodwill outlet where I pay by, by pound, by the pound, is to just load up on a bunch of lightweight stuff. And I mean, it's just so cheap and it's so crazy for me to think about that Houston is one of the most expensive bins in the country. We pay $2.19 per pound. A lot of people pay like around $1.50 per pound. Um, so I, you know, it's just, so crazy how cheap you can get stuff, but that speaks to the surplus of unused secondhand clothing in Houston and a lot of parts of the country. True Religion sweater, this was another bins grab. And I got this, I don't usually pick up True Religion. I know some stuff can sell really well, but um, I got this because it was a distressed alpaca blend sweater. So it had quite a bit going for it. This whole like manufactured, extremely distressed look, kind of like a, you got into a fight with a bear uh, for a sweater that's always done really well for me. I listed this at $35 
and once again someone liked it so flip sent them out a 31 dollars offer with discount ship they did counter that to 23 which i accepted so a lot of the time offers that are sent out automatically are not accepted they just kind of opened that door for negotiation people know that i'm flexible on my pricing so they countered to 23 i accepted that making my earnings 18 dollars and 40 cents and my net profit right around $17. Moving on, we have a really cute dress here, very kind of chic and contemporary. It has a black and white polka dot print and a smocked bodice, or I guess body of the dress. Size large, 100% cotton. This I listed at 32. And within a couple days, I got an offer of 30, which we love a super fair offer. That's always very exciting. I'm gonna fold this a little bit smaller so I can put it into an envelope. So yeah, I accepted that, which made my earnings 24 and my net profit $22. So happy with this. I definitely picked this up based on style and I guess material as well, 100% uh, cotton. If this had been, you know, 100% polyester, I would have left it. But with it being a natural material, a contemporary kind of classic polka dot print, and the cut was very feminine and kind of unique with that smocked body, I did get it. And I am happy with the sale for sure. We have a little blouse. This is Cynthia Rowley. It's 100% linen. It has a faux wood button back with this adorable botanical print. Can you guys see that? I found this at the bins and I kind of died for a minute because I just thought the print was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. I listed this at 34. Cynthia Rowley is not cheap. It always it doesn't always have a great demand in the secondhand market, but it is quality stuff for sure. So I listed this at 34. Someone liked it. Flip sent them a $28 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. Making my net profit right around $19 on this top. That's exactly what I aim for with bin stuff. Oh, this was a fun find and sale. I love this. The brand is Romans, uh, which isn't, you know, anything to write home about, but this was a size 3X and it's a gorgeous, like midi maxi dress, green velvet with a ruffle trim, very boho. Happy to find this. I listed this at 35 and Flip sent out a $31 offer with discount ship. So my net profit was right around $20 on this dress. Someone commented on a few videos ago of mine that I uploaded and said, you know, you need to stop sending out the offers and the discounted shipping. I think they said stop sending out the discount ship because a lot of people would be happy with just the discount. And I do take into account both the discount and the discounted shipping when I'm listing. So I do always leave room for that when I'm listing. It's just kind of built into the price at this point. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of people love seeing that they're getting discounted shipping. It's something about, you know, buying online. So it's all kind of strategic. And my response to that is to just work it into your list price. Next up, we have Katie Storino collaborating with Stitch Fix, size 3X dress, really pretty pastel pink, kind of faux wrap dress with a texture all over. Someone told me in my comments what Katie Storino does. I totally forget now but uh, it was useful information. So if you left that comment, thank you. I'll have to look back at that because I totally forget. It was something within like health and beauty, I wanna say. 
Um, but either way, anytime I see a collab, and especially if it's in plus size, I'm more likely to get something. I would have gotten this probably if it were no brand and a size 3X. So the fact that it has a popular uh, celebrity's name tied to it, as well as being a stitch fix item, those just kind of add on to the sellability of it. So I listed this dress at $45. I would say a couple days after listing, I got a $25 offer. We did counter back and forth a couple times and ended up settling on $30. That's pretty consistent with sole comps. So I was happy to accept $30. My total net profit ended up being $22 on that dress. Another pair of shoes. These are OTBT leather sandals. I do love selling this brand. This has been the first pair of shoes from this brand, OTBT, that has sat for me. Usually they all sell really fast, so I was kind of surprised. If you can find the, oh my gosh, what is their most popular style? Bushnell, like Bush, and then N-E-L-L wedges from this brand, OTBT. They are their best selling shoe. I actually have a pair to list uh, right now. They sell for a lot and they sell pretty quickly. This is not that style, unfortunately, but that's okay. I listed these at 27. I've had them for, I would say like five months now. So when Flip sent someone an offer of $24 with discount ship and they accepted, I was excited. That made my earnings $16.52 and my net profit right around $15 on these. So happy to move these out. Um, and if I have sandals that I have price dropped like through the winter time in my closet, I will go in and relist them at a higher price because obviously we're moving into warmer weather. The demand for sandals and shorts is going to go back up. And Poshmark makes it super easy these days with uh, just their copy and list feature. Next we have this super cute 90s uh, Liz Claiborne bag. I'm just going to add this into my larger box number seven. This is my box that is used exclusively for larger items that I'm shipping out. So for this bag. This was actually a full price sale again. We love that. $28 and my net profit came out to right around $20. Next, my thank you stickers are, they have a mind of their own today. Okay. Yet another pair of sandals. These are Naot, N-A-O-T. This is their most popular kind of classic style. The Kayla sandal sells very well consistently for I would say $35 to $45. Um, it retails for around $150. Very high quality. It's similar to like Birkenstocks but the quality. You have that cork midsole suede footbed made in Israel. So these I listed at $45. And within just a couple of days of being listed, uh, I had several likes on them and Flip sent out $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $29.32 and my net profit $27.32. They should be fine in here just because they don't have any um, anything that can really get scuffed up or anything so I'm not too worried about those being in an envelope. I don't know maybe I should switch them. What do you guys think? I do like to ship my shoes in boxes as opposed to envelopes just because they are a little bit more protective. All right there we go. Now we have this Bryn Walker cardigan which I have lint rolled several times. This is really cool. It has a tie front and then this like draped gathered design on back. 
very lagging look. Bryn Walker is an excellent brand to find. Um, it's a little bit of a more mature brand, which honestly have been selling the best for me, really most consistently and for the best return. And this was a size large. It's a bamboo blend, so very soft and high quality. I listed this at $50. It retailed for around $200, $150 to $200. Someone liked it yet again. Flip sent them out a $45 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. And so my net profit was $31.32. And now we have, this is a very exciting sale. So this is an All Saints 100% goat leather moto style vest with fringe. This thing is gorgeous. I found this at my regularly priced Goodwill, which I need to start going to more often. I usually find some really good items there. And this was actually featured in an episode of Pretty Little Liars, which is important to include in your listing because some people search that out. Uh, that's a very popular show. So I had this listed at $50. And once again, someone liked the vest. And so Posher VA sent them out a $135 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $105 with 32 cents. So I made a net profit of right around $100 on this vest, which is awesome. And you know, I forget what I was doing when that offer was sent out. I think I was like getting ready or doing something. Um, I was busy. And so, you know, I would not have stopped to see, oh, someone like this. And you know, they're still interested in it. They're still thinking about it. There's a short window there for me to send them out an offer that's 10% less with a discount in shipping. So I didn't do that. Flip did it for me and it resulted in a sale. So that's an example of what I mean when I say that automation is crucial for my business these days because I'm just too busy to fully fulfill all of the tasks that it takes to get things moving and sold and keep my listings fresh and active. So that's really where my bot comes in to play. Moving on, we have this cactus with two Ks, a long line kind of a topper. It just has one tie at the chest. This is 100% cotton, very boho and lagging look and size extra large so really pretty piece here this sold i would say within like four days of being listed i listed it at 38 that was just kind of a shot in the dark because i didn't know much about this brand and it seemed like a pretty substantial piece and then i got an offer of 25 which i just went ahead and accepted that made my earnings 20 and my net profit 18. My package pile is getting pretty large over here. I'm probably gonna have to head down soon. Oh, you know what? This was actually another piece that I had to, that I'm gonna have to cancel. It had a huge flaw on it. I don't know how I missed it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to cancel that, which is again, a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay, it happens. I normally don't have to, I haven't had to cancel a sale in, a month or two and so that's funny that it happened twice today but that's fine it happens these are blank nyc distressed they are the barrow style of shorts which is very popular from blank nyc people search it out it's just a great kind of essential high rise shorts great for festivals or just summer in general I listed these at 28. Again, someone liked them, so Flip sent them a $25 offer with discount ship, which was accepted, making my earnings $17.32. So my net profit was right around 15 on these shorts. 
Okay, I think we'll do one more and then head down to, actually we'll do two more and then head down. Next up is this One State blouse. I got it because I like the sleeves a lot. They have elastic at the wrist. It also was a size large, excellent condition. The bodice is lined, which is nice. This I listed at 28. I got an offer of 21, which I accepted. My net profit was right around 15. Again, this was just another kind of piece that I threw into my cart. Didn't think much about it. Knew that I could make a quick flip on it. This was probably only listed for, I'd say a couple weeks now. Okay, and our last sale before I head down to the post office is a four item bundle, two pairs of shoes. So I will wrap those first. These are Steve Madden pink heels with three straps. I'm going to wrap these individually because they are suede. You don't want suede to rub together. Our second and last pair of shoes are these Sam Edelman, Circus by Sam Edelman, neutral espadrille wedge shoes. And then two clothing items. First off is this Free People floral kind of baby doll style tunic top, super cute. This was another bins grab. And lastly, cloth and stone from Anthropology, size extra large, plaid, little tie waist, button down shirt. And this bundle actually sold for full price, which was incredible. So the four items were added together. The bundle price was $123. But like I was mentioning, I do have an automatic 15% off bundle discount of three items or more. And so the final sale price came out to $104 with 55 cents. That made my earnings $83 and 64 cents. I paid $7 for everything. And so my net profit came out to $76 and 64 cents on this bundle. So ecstatic about that. I'm going to get this taped up and then pack all this up, head down to the post office, and then I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back from the post office, ready to finish up my sale. So moving on, we have this Chico's long line vest, sleeveless cardigan, otherwise known as a vest. It's a size three, which is equivalent to size extra large in Chico's. I got this mainly because I thought it would be nice for springtime with the color palette. It's like light blue, brown, and cream. And the sleeveless design. So, you know, it's good for transitional weather. It keeps, you know, a little bit of warmth, but still obviously very breathable without sleeves. So, I listed this vest for $34. Someone liked it. Flip sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship, which they accepted, making my earnings $19.72 and my net profit $17.72. I have been loving picking up Chico's. It has been selling pretty much like same day or next day as I've been listing it, which is awesome. This vest probably sold, I would say within two days of being listed, but I have really been focusing on current season items. I've been picking up a lot of springtime stuff and animal prints, which always sell great for me. Okay, next up, this was an exciting find and sell, sale. So, this is a matching pair of pajamas by Antonio Milani. I found these at the bins. They are made with Liberty fabric, Liberty of London fabric, which is like a higher tier fabric. They make a lot of really cute, whimsical prints. This one has flowers and fruit and insects, and they were a size extra large. Looked like they had never been worn. 
the top is a long sleeve button down and then the pants are a wide leg with an elastic waist and pockets so I found one in one bin and then the other in another bin I was so excited when I had the complete set so I listed these at $75 and a day after being listed, I received a $60 offer, which I did counter to $65, just because I was confident that these would sell uh, even if that counter offer was declined. But fortunately, it was not. It was accepted. My earnings were $52, and my net profit was right around $50 on these pajamas. I've been picking up and selling a lot of pajamas. My rule for pajamas and more like intimate wear is it just has to look brand new basically. Um, I won't buy anything that has any kind of wear to it uh, with pajamas and whatnot. Okay, next up, classic pair of overalls. These are from Gap. They're a light wash. I knew these would sell really well. These were another bins grab. Going into spring and summer, I will be upping my overalls, shorts, linen materials, and sandals. That's what I focus on in spring and summer. And that kind of carries me through because it's a little bit trickier selling in spring, summer, just because you don't have those more substantial items like jackets and boots supporting you, I guess you'd say. Um, but if you hone in on what is popular in the warmer weather, then you'll be fine. Um, also like a lot of boho festival kind of wear stuff. So these Gap overalls I listed at $40. And within a couple days, I would say a day, someone offered me $30. I went ahead and accepted that, making my earnings $24 and my net profit $22. Moving on, we have this boutique brand, Jodiful Leopard kind of color block chevron stripe sweater super cute and oversized with the balloon kind of sleeve very soft i listed this at 35 someone liked it and again my flip sent them out a 31 dollar offer with discount ship which was accepted that made my earnings 22 dollars and 12 cents and my net profit right around 20 dollars on this sweater. I will pick up boutique stuff if it's cute and in pretty good quality and condition. And I usually expect to make a net profit of around $20. So this sweater performed right on point. We have this Forever 21 skirt. So I got this from the bins maybe like nine months ago or so for myself, but I didn't end up liking the way that it fit. It has distressing and then like an off center button down front. So I just listed it. My alternative would have been to take it to Plato's Closet. They give me about $4 per item. My net profit on this ended up being about $5. So I made an extra dollar listing it myself. It sold for nine, so that's pretty much exactly what I would expect. This probably retailed for like 18-ish. So the buyer paid close to retail with shipping. But you know, with some items like this, even if they resell or retail for very low, if someone's looking for it, you know, they're not thinking, this only retailed for $20, so I'm only willing to pay 19 because I have to stay below retail. A lot of people just want that specific item. They'll pay what they have to pay and kind of move on. But it all depends on the item and how sought after it is. Alrighty, so getting into our last sales here, we have three pairs of shoes, all separate sales. So the first pair to sell is this Lotta's or Lotta of Stockholm is the full brand name. These are a leather clog. These are really nice. One shoe does have, the strap is just slightly stretched 
and back unfortunately which i did note of course but otherwise i mean they're in flawless condition really if they didn't have the strap issue i probably would have listed around 50 to 65 dollars they retail for around 100 and clogs are so sought after uh sellable people are always on the hunt for clogs but because of the flaw i did list at 38 and within a day of being listed i got a 32 dollar offer which i accepted and so my net profit came out to 22 dollars and 60 cents on these second to last we have this pair of johnston and murphy slip-on sandals really cute they have like a metallic leather upper rubber sole johnson and murphy it's not anything to really write home about when you find it but it's for sure a reputable tried and true kind of brand so i listed these at 32. i got an offer a couple days after being listed for 27 which i accepted so i made right around 20 dollars net profit on these sandals our very last sale for today is a pair of boots by Steve Madden. They're kind of like a distressed look, pull on, cow, cowgirl kind of style boot in a size 9. They're the Reeve boots. And I'm going to wrap them individually. So there's one. Okay, and because these are a little bit wider, I'm going to grab my 1095 box. This is like my middle size bundle box. My 1092 is for just like a bulky sweater. I do have all of my supplies linked down below, both what I order from USPS for free, all of my boxes and envelopes that come straight to my door as well as all of my Amazon supplies, my paper. This is Duck brand packing paper and all of my other reselling and shipping supplies. Okay, so that is absolutely everything for this huge sip with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.